Let me show you how to use generative photo editing. You can resize, remove, and reposition objects in photos. And the generative photo editing feature will recreate the image and it will try to recreate it in the most natural way. However, sometimes you will notice artifacts. So step number one is to select the gallery app and then select a photo. I've already selected a photo here of my son. Then step number two, tap the edit icon to enter editing mode. Step number three is to tap the generative edit icon here. Now you can see it was analyzing the image. Step number four is to tap the object or to draw a line around it to select an object. It was able to analyze this part of the image instantly. That's amazing, man. Look at the way it was able to select the, the object. That was incredible. Step number five. Now you can delete, move, or resize the objects by long pressing on them. So if I long press, now I can, for example, move him. Let's try moving him around. Let's say I want to move him here. And step number seven is to tap generate. Wow, that was incredible, man. I mean, he was here and I moved him here. And that was done on a smartphone. This was the original. Check this out. And this was the, the one that we just edited. How amazing is that? All right, a little bit something more challenging. You see this bag right here? Let me try to remove this bag. Go to edit. Generative fill. Let's tap on the bag. And let's see. Wow, it, it recognized it pretty f instantly, man. That was, that was fast. And now let's delete it and generate. See what happens. Let's fill in the image. <laughs> wow, look at that, man. It generated an entirely new pillow that did not exist there. This wasn't there before. Look at the original. Before and after. Before and after. Wow. You know what? Let's take it up a notch and let me try to remove those Samsung Galaxy earbuds from my ears. Let me see if it's able to detect them. No. I only want... Uh, it's not able to detect it, you see? It's only detecting my ears, so... Alright, I guess this part, it did not... Yeah, it didn't work for this part. Maybe because it's too small, I want to remove the, the earbuds. Okay, that didn't work. So that's one of the limitations here. Let's try another image right now. We have this image. Let's go to edit and generative fill. Now, let me try to remove my daughter. Let's see. Cool. It was selected. Let's go to delete. Now let's tap generate and see what happens. <laughs> wow. That was incredible, man. I mean, if you don't zoom in that much, and if you don't look at the pixel by pixel parts, I mean, you re you can't really tell. Look at this. It's incredible. Look at the original. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. All right, let's take it up a notch. Now, let me try to move my body, move myself. Let's say I want to go here in the middle. Generate. Let's see what happens. It takes a while. Huh. Cool. But if you zoom in, you might see some artifacts. Yeah, you see right there? You might see some artifacts. But they're hard to notice. I mean, this is pretty amazing, man. I always thought that this was a gimmick, but it's not. I mean, look at before and after. This is incredible. Done. Save as a copy. So here is another picture that will be very interesting to test. Suppose I want to autofill parts of it. So let's go back to generating and let's tilt it a little bit. I want to autofill all of these areas right here. So if I zoom out like this, in this case, I was actually tilting. Let's see if this is going to work. Generate. Interesting. Look at this, man. All of these parts were not there. Okay, that that door does not exist, by the way. <laughs> that was generated by the phone. And you can see, if you zoom in closely, you'll see some of the artifacts. So, for example, check this out. This looks off if you zoom in. Let me see my shoe. Yeah, you see, that's what I mean by artifact. 
Something's wrong with my shoe. Let's go to the original image. You can see that's the original image. And check out the, um, the generated image. Here's another one. This is the original picture. And check out what happens after generating. Here's the original picture. And check out what happens after the editing. Wow. That's pretty incredible. Original and generated image. This is one of the most exciting Galaxy AI features that I love. So if you go to voice recorder, now I have some of the recordings here. If you go to a recording that you had, let's say you had a meeting with several people. Let's say this one. You can see here it says transcribe this recording to get a full text transcript and concise summary of it for easy review. So tap on transcribe. It's going to transcribe the meeting. Select your language. And now it's analyzing the meeting. It's going to transcribe the voices to text. And you're going to see the magic in action. Check this out. Incredible. So there are two speakers here in this meeting. It can separate or differentiate the speakers. You can see that. It transcribes the text. And you can also tap on summary. So it will generate a synopsis for you. That is incredible. Check this out. That's the summary. And to make things even better, if you go to, let's say, go here and go to edit, if you tap on the speaker name and change it, so for example, let's say this is the first speaker name and this is the second speaker name, and select in the whole transcript, in whole transcript, and you rename it. Okay, let's go back here and rename this one to in whole transcript. It's going to rename the entire speaker names here. So you've got a complete transcript with the speaker names. Use this in your meetings. It will transform your life. Now, Samsung brought this also to the S23, S22, and I think S21, if I'm not mistaken, Ultra as well. This feature is called writing style. So this is something that I wrote right now, and I want to just fluff it up. I want to make it look even better. Maybe fix a little bit of the grammar. Are there any grammatical mistakes? Use better wording. So once you tap here on the keyboard, there's a button here called the Galaxy AI button, and you get two options here, spelling and grammar and writing style. Let me first go for spelling and grammar. So let's check the text for any mistakes. So it says here veteran. Okay, so the comma has to be before, that's correct. And the second mistake, characters who, that's right, characters who don't belong instead of characters that don't belong. Okay, so instead of correcting the grammar, let's go back and Let's go for writing style. And this is one of the most exciting things I like about Galaxy AI. Check this out. You got different styles, professional, casual, social, polite. Check out professional, for example. So this was the original version. I am a veteran and this will be a rant based on my 23 years of Smash experience. I understand that evolution is a natural process for many video games, but I feel the game was ruined by too many ridiculous characters that don't belong in Smash. Proof, some of them were nerfed. So check out the uh, suggested professional version. As a seasoned professional, I like that. With 23 years of experience in the field of Smash, I feel compelled to express my concerns regarding the recent developments in the game. While I acknowledge the significance of the evolution in the gaming industry, I believe that the introduction of certain characters have deviated from the core essence of Smash. The subsequent nerfing of these characters further supports my argument. Excellent! And there you go. Post. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of the best features of Galaxy AI. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you really like my video, subscribe to my channel and share. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.